Today I'm fishing the headwaters of a major river system. Rich in life, this small river supports surprisingly large brown trout. But these wary fish have seen a fly or two and won't come easily. Let's get in there, let's get casting, and let's see what we can make happen. Here we go, first cast, first hole in this legendary system of water here. There are some absolutely monstrous brown trout that lurk within here, and uh, hopefully we can get into some big ones. I'm hoping for a personal best this trip, absolutely. There we go. First fish on. God, he went under the rock. I don't know if he's still on. Uh, looked to be a nice fish. He took off real strong. Let me get up here and see if uh, see if I could snatch him out from under this rock. Nope. <laughs> well. At least we know there's some fish in here now. Uh, <laughs> we did not successfully catch it, but uh, that's a good first sign. I've, I've uh, made a change to my flies. I'm going with a double woolly waltz worm rig now. So we've got uh, a size 18 black woolly waltz worm, as well as uh, that size 14 copper one on there as well. I don't know, I think these fish might be a little pressured. They might be a little finicky. They might be a little shy during the midday. Um, so we're just kind of, we're downsizing, we're making things look as natural as possible, and uh, we'll start having some more luck here. Oh my gosh, there's a big fish. He's right at the tail of the pool here. I don't know if he spooked or what. He, he either, he either hit, hit a fly or he ran into my line. Yeah, right here. Really nice looking brown. Oh my gosh. Well, some more signs of life at least, I guess. It's been a grind so far, so uh, I will take that. Wow, what a pretty hole here. There's a genuine waterfall just dumping in right into the pool. Pretty special, pretty cool. This place is uh, very, very beautiful. And um, <laughs> now I just need to catch some fish and uh, figure out the final piece of this puzzle here. I think with every fly change, we're definitely getting closer and closer. I think I feel the most confident right now with these uh, natural nymphs, this double nymph rig. So hopefully it's gonna happen for us soon. Ah, oh. <laughs> first bite in like hours, at least two hours. What was that? Might have been a dink. Hit so quick. I didn't. I didn't have any time to react. Man, I, I don't know why it is such a grind out here. I've been seeing fish, just cannot get any action. It has been tough. Oh, another bite. That one was on for just a split second there. Maybe the bite's finally turning on this evening. Man, I sure hope so. Fish on. It's been a grind out here. Been fishing strong. Three, four hours, I'd say. But everything's better now because we're hooked up to a nice, beautiful brown trout. <laughs> yes. It's starting to rain just a little bit now. I got about three hours till sunset. Man, hopefully I can continue and uh, put quite a few more browns in the net. Really good looking fish here. Nice size too. Oh my goodness, yes. Oh, 
Wow, what a gorgeous fish. Been working my butt off and uh, <laughs> feels good to finally have one on the board. All that pain, all those fishless hours, they're wiped away and uh, possibilities seem, seem infinite now. So I'm really hoping that the lower light levels, the evening approaching is uh, kind of changing up these trout's patterns and uh, hopefully they'll start biting a good bit more. That's, that's my hope, that's my theory right now. Uh, we'll see if that holds true or not. Look at this waterfall coming right into this pool here. That is so incredibly pretty. Uh, I love catching fish in weird, beautiful, unique places. And man, it would be just awesome to hook up to a fish in this pool next to this waterfall. It even looks like there's actually another one right up around the corner. Um, the, one up, the one up ahead even looks a little bit deeper too. So fingers crossed. I'm optimistic. Things are looking up. Oh, this looks good. Nice, nice, nice deep hole under the waterfall. Flies in a good spot right now. Yes, there we go. There we go. Solid eat. Nice fish here. Under the waterfall. <laughs> Having the time of my life. <laughs> so cool. Yeah, this is a nice fish here too. Very nice fish. Oh my God, epic. Yes. <laughs> I, was, I was pretty bummed out a couple hours ago. I could not figure out how to catch these fish, but um, we've gotten two really nice browns in pretty short order here. All right, <laughs> yes. Waterfall trout, how cool is that? In such an incredible location. That is just uh, really, really special, really unique. Fish on. Number three, and it's another really nice looking brown. Turning into a great day out here on the river. There we go, solid fish. I'm using the Tenkara Rodco Rocky today. Um, this is probably my most used rod. I love tossing double nymph rigs with it, heavy tungsten flies, jig streamers. I like the ability that this rod has just to kind of toss things out and to control the flies. Uh, it's also being so stiff, actually very, very sensitive. So when my nymphs are on a tight line, when I get a bite, you know, I, I really feel that resonate up through the rod really well. And not to mention, you know, it's being a big rod, it can handle big fish. And uh, this place is certainly known for very big fish. And uh, it was the obvious choice to bring to this water today. Okay, there's a couple of large fish hanging out in the tail out here, feeding even saw one rise. I think if I can get one good cast in front of these fish, we stand a good chance. Alright, here we go. First attempt. Looks good, looks good. We're in the zone right now. Oh, there we go. That's a nice one. Biggest one of the day here by far, I'd say. 
Oof, wow, very nice fish. I'd love to pull a few out of here. This is a big trout right here, big, big trout. Rocky's handling them, no problem. I'd say this one's, I mean, it's gonna be at least 16 plus, perhaps perhaps bigger, could go even even 18. I'll give him a quick measure against the net once I, once I land him here. But uh, this is a very nice brown. Ooh, it feels good. Heck yes. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> what a fish, what a place. Fish this size in a body of water that's so relatively small, that's pretty cool. Ooh, he's not ready yet. Uh-uh. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh, heartbreaking. Damn. Fly, fly just popped off. Popped right off. Could have been a bad knot. I've been getting hung up on plenty of rocks. Could have just been some abrasion. What a bummer. Would have loved to have uh, put a hand on that fish. Let's get back in there though and see what else we can find. I know there's more big ones in here. All right, I tied on yet another copper woolly waltz worm. Seems like the real canyon Canyony section is uh, over with for now at least. We got a nice kind of lower gradient classic trout pool <laughs> and we got a classic brown trout on the end of the line. Jumping like a fool too. Love it. All right. He's not as big as the previous ones but uh, still a solid fish. Probably similar size to the uh, to the first couple that I caught. And he's pulling like a freight train too. I will say that. My goodness. He's wild. <laughs> That's a quick fish right there. A lot of muscles on this one. Healthy. My goodness. This, this dude's crazy. Going under rocks. Chill out, my friend. I'm gonna let you go so quick. There we go. <laughs> Well, that's pretty awesome. Hooked up to two fish in this pool, landed one. One was very big, lost him. And one was just very nice. <laughs> let's see uh, Let's see if we can come across some more fish down here. Sun setting in about, about an hour. Just hoping I can still squeeze a good bit of fishing in here. Brought my headlamp with me. I'll walk out with that if I have to. There we go. Another fish on the line here. Hooked him down deep. Very subtle bite. Just saw the indicator kind of change up just a little bit. And uh, whenever you see that indicator change up, your level line change up, it's always a good idea to set the hook. You never really know. Especially in winter time or when the water is super cold. Man, some of the some of the bites can be so incredibly subtle. You'd be surprised at what you miss, actually. This is the smallest one yet, but uh, still not a bad fish, honestly. Probably 12 inches or so. And like I said, they're all fighting so hard. <laughs> See, he's just still not ready. There you go, bud. Pretty crazy hole here. In hindsight, maybe I should have fished the lower gradient kind of meadowy section where I'm at now uh, all day. I don't know. It definitely was cool fishing that canyon section. Getting around was a little tough, but um, it was very beautiful. And uh, 
seeing those waterfalls kind of pop into the canyon too and especially catching that fish below the one that was that was pretty awesome i probably wouldn't trade that away for anything but uh you definitely can't argue that it seems like there's quite a lot of fish stacked up in this pool here first pool out of the out of the canyon just loaded Very nice fish. Thick shoulders, strong fighter. Oh man, how cool. The sun is setting. Oh, it's just so beautiful out here. And the fish, they are, they are cooperating now. I really do enjoy sharing these videos with you guys. And uh, it means the world to me that you guys are here along for the ride, sharing these experiences. Thanks again, guys. I'll catch you next time.